Hello, and welcome to part one of the Apply Tools Masterclass. My name is Sarah, and today we will show you why visual testing is not only critical, but actually a must for accelerating and stabilizing your functional tests today, as well as demonstrate how easy it is to get started with an overview of our dashboard and our new advanced features. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at the problems visual testing is solving. According to a recent study, 63% believe QA is the bottleneck in DevOps. 70% is what is reported as the coverage of testing is still done manually, and of what eventually is automated, automation engineers end up spending up to 70% of their time just updating the scripts as they are extremely flaky and unstable. Let's take a deeper look to understand the reasons behind some of these problems. Reason number one, business expectation. 90% of interactions and critical tasks are now done digitally. This means everything from paying bills with your banking app to ordering pizza on a Friday night is done with an application, and this app must work perfectly across more and more variations, all browsers, screen sizes, versions, etc. This is extremely hard and takes a lot of time to test, especially as it needs to be done manually. Releases are expected faster and faster, as competition in the app economy is greater than ever. A feature which can improve your business may be the difference between your success or failure. A competitor may release a feature and you must also cover that functionality fast or you become obsolete. On the other side, you must constantly be making new better features to keep your edge. Agile is now a reality for over 70% of the world's companies according to Gartner. CICD is an emerging practice that will add even more pressure to release faster. Yet business leaders expect R&D to maintain or even improve quality simultaneously. Therefore, everyone must be agile, deliver fast, work well, and this includes quality testing. The second problem is development QA lifecycle hurdles. This is a natural effect for development and QA teams, which are separated most of the time. If you look at this release cycle graph, product development happens in three phases. First, the new product is being built. Development is still happening, so automation is not possible as the product isn't ready, it's flaky, so people are told to wait and do QA manually. Then phase two comes along when the product is just ready and we can just now start doing automation. But first we need to understand that a lot of things aren't fully baked, so really that automation is only going to be about 30 to 40%. So due to the fact that we have this problem that things aren't totally automated, full features aren't necessarily developed. And by the time phase three comes, when it's ready for deployment, we see only maximum 60 to 70% covered with automation. So we've got that gap of 30 to 40%, which is going to keep on increasing as more and more releases come. Reason number three, functionality bias. So if you take this login screen and ask a QA engineer to test this, they will probably test if the username field exists, if the password field exists, if the form works properly, if the sign-in button works properly, and so on. But they will generally ignore if this logo exists, or if the background image looks right, or if the elemental aligns correctly. This is especially true in terms of cross-browser testing. Because depending on the browser, the alignment may be different or even broken, like way off, or the image doesn't even load. But your automation script is not going to catch these things. It's only going to look at, does it do it on paper, not did it appear correctly? Which, let's be honest, if a buy button is missing, it's not working, period. So when your CEO or CMO is going to look at a mobile phone or a browser that you didn't get a chance to check and they're going to say, hey, why did this buy button all of a sudden disappear? You messed up. And these visual cues are only going to be caught if we're doing a true, proper visual test. So essentially, while we have automation frameworks like Selenium, Cypress, and Appium, which are great for doing testing, they are missing a key element, which is the visual. No test can truly be considered final until the visual has been checked.